welcome back folks, I'm your host Quantum, and welcome back to, uh, Mystery Trackers of Void. <laughs> I almost forgot the name. Uh, last time we left off, we discovered that this crazy motherfucking mansion has a secret amusement park behind it. And, excuse me folks, but I clearly don't see an abandoned amusement park right behind the house. And it definitely doesn't show it in my, my little dossier here. Uh, there's the house, but I don't see no fucking amusement park back here, unless if I zoom in and enhance this part here, I don't see it. And we still have zero idea of where Kevin Sting is, Gerald Springs, and Rebecca Thatcher. I still don't know where they are. However, we do have a creepy fucking statue, apparently, of this, this super magician boy in the, uh, the house. Uh... I did, while well, before starting the recording, making sure everything worked, I did pick up a sledgehammer, and it was right here. Uh, it probably was there last episode, but just to let you know, I have it in my inventory. Um, so without further ado, let's just get fucking mystery cracking. Uh, the drawbridge chain is broken. A few new links would help the situation, and I clearly don't have links, so fuck it, whatever. And as I slug on my drink here, today's... What is Quantum drinking today? In this episode, I'm drinking Mountain Dew Blue Game Fuel because it's the only thing I have at my disposal at the moment. So that concludes what is Quantum drinking today? Now we have the sledgehammer, and if I'm a sadistic fuck, and I'm not, but if I was a sadistic fuck, I'd probably use it on this goofball here. Sounds hollow. So what if I just... Oh, we're breaking him. Oh, is he dead? Lost man discovered. Mr. Majestic. Oh, he's dead. Okay, well, we found what happened to him. Spring's body was desiccated by the goal. Only bones remained well in chain links. Master Illusionist is, is dead. Suffocated by molten gold. That's fucking bananas. Imagine this man's last moments as he was fucking clinging on to life. And he's like, alright, well, you're getting put in molten gold. And he's like, no! Jesus Christ. And then I decimated the body, too. What fucking detective I am. Magician extraordinaire, suffocated by molten gold. Yeah, what a fucked up way to die. Alright, I can't wait to find out what asshat did it. Alright. I'll read this, uh... Entire entry. This golden figure I assumed was a statue was actually the magician Gerald Springs. Drowning in gold is a terrible death. I'm sure this is not the immortality the celebrity wanted. The bold burned and desiccated his remains. Clearly the gargantuan in the hall was guarding this entrance. What's more puzzling is that the room was obviously designed for Mr. Springs. So is he a prisoner or a distinguished guest? I found hastily written note in the suitcase in the dressing room. My adventure was off to a brilliant start. I had tricked the public with the ultimate vanishing act and went to work as Mr. Void's assistant. He told his incredible creatures that I'm their golden master, but I can't control my new subordinates. Dr. Eisen... Eisenspitz? We're gonna go Eisenspitz. Warned that I should watch my back. Now it is too late. They carried me... Off to the alchemical factory cheering Golden Master. I can't run away as Gargantuan accidentally broke my leg. I can hear the sound of casting furnace and I'm terrified. I believe they will make me a real Golden Master and worship me. This time, the illusion wasn't enough. Clearly, Gerald Springs was murdered by the mysterious creatures, but Mally is void really alive. And why did he need Mr. Springs to assist him? And I guess we just took his fucking bloodied hand, or his, his, uh his boned hand, uh, a tarot card called the Magician, a, a tie, his artwork and probably his hat. Fuck it, I get And his Magician wand. Jesus Christ, we're not even five minutes into recording and I'm already feeling downtrodden. Whatever, I guess we'll find this asshat. Who, uh, who did this to him? And by that, I mean the man who made the monsters, because this motherfucker's gonna get super sleuthed if I have anything to say about it. 
The garden is fantastic. It's hot and muggy here, much like the tropics. I feel like I'm really in the Amazonian rainforest. Oh, I just picked up a gas can. This car's ornament acts as a key to the hood. Looks like something's missing from the hood. And I have a gas can. Am I going to use this car to schedule skedaddle? The electric car is locked. Perhaps the key is still around. Malleus voids legendarium. This garden is an amusement park and artificial ecosystem experiment. Okay, well, I picked up a thing. I didn't get to read the words on it, but I guess we'll read the turtle entry. Is this the doctor in charge? Because it looks like fucking Uncle Sam. Patient psychological portrait. Doctor in charge, Dr. Eisenpitz. Patient, Malleus Void. Codename, Dr. Jekyll. Diagnosis, Dissociative Identity Disorder, so DID. During childhood, Jekyll suffered a psychological shock when conflicts arose between the sanct this sanctity of his inner world and the cruel reality of the outer. The patient still seeks the solitude and joy of his early youth and is trying to recreate this haven with his manufactured world. He stated that he felt sudden deterioration, almost physical paralysis, and the desire to withdraw completely from the outside world after his latest attempt to engage with the community, a scientific congress, despite the disorder, Jekyll is a kind and amicable man, and is a serviceful genius. Well, I guess our uh, Dr. Uncle Sam here knows what's up, but I guess our void is a strucken but genius. But he's also mental unstable. Mentally unstable. So I don't know. Genius? Mentally unstable. Get the two winning uh, weights. The balance of justice here. Which one do you think would be a little more important? I would say probably fixing the mental instability first. But that's just me. Oh shit. And I guess this is a winter garden? Question mark? Maybe? However, we have a hidden object scene. We need a broom. A, uh, a lantern. This is right here. A garden pruner. A watering can. Hey, you know, speaking of which, these objects really, uh, really fit the theme here of gardening and science things. Uh, five bugs, and I need two, three, four. Does this count as a bug? No. That's a spider. Here's another heart. Uh, a scythe. Just here. Jingly keys. And fifth bug. Jingly keys. A rake. In a, in a slingshot, which is the least, or the last object I would want to find in this hidden object scene. What the fuck do you need a slingshot for? I mean, there's a football pigskin here. Ten objects to see without a hint. I'm digging it. I'm digging the achievement. Thank you. Is there still something I have to I could do down here? Is there something I can mess with? Oh! Piece of a diary. Neat. And of course, there's trucks making a whole shit ton of noise down the road here. Fucking, of course. Nothing down for the last hour. Alright, which way do I want to go? Do I want to go left to the drawbridge, or do I want to go here? I kind of want to go to the rabel car. Ah. Plank o' wood. The tram is only viable transportation in this artificial world. How much land did this motherfucker own if he's got a tram car here? Oh, hell no. Look at him go. The mountain inside building looks like a small hotel. Void world has everything. Yeah, and you just, did you not see the monster just fucking climb his way to the, the hotel? Because I, I clearly did. I don't know about you. 
But that's pretty hard to miss. I can power up the tram here if I had a lever. Yeah, well, sun and moon, no? I don't have a lever. So this is fucking useless. Alright, let's back the fuck out of here while we still have a, have a chance here. Bird! This tropical bird can only live in the Dendrium special microclimate. Yeah, and I, I... Oh! I guess that's... You know, I think that's a thing from Miss Thatcher. Oh boy, here we go. Alright, here we go. Patient psychological portrait, doctor in charge, Dr. Ashen Pitch. Patient serious void. Codename Mr. Hot. Oh, okay, wait, hold on. I'm sorry, I made a wrong prediction earlier. Um, apparently, this is Void. So this isn't our doctor, this is our patient. So our patient looks like fucking Uncle Sam. And then this is his evil side. And you could tell that he's evil, because he's got the mask, and his hat's retarded, and he's got, like, this weird frowny face going on. And he's got a mustache. This one guy doesn't have a mustache. Uh, patient Serious Void, Code Mr. Vide, Maniac, or Manic Depression. Mr. Hyde is obviously suffering from an acute mental disease in the form of aggressive paranoia. His treatment of reality can be characterized by hatred towards everybody around and absolute cynicism. After a childhood of hard knocks, Hyde resolved to never be vulnerable again. He intends to hurt before he can be hurt. These symptoms combined with his conscious aspiration for power and desire to obliterate anything and everything that contradicts his ideology makes Mr. Hyde very dangerous to society. So I don't know. Do we take Jekyll or do we take Hyde? I'll take Jekyll, even if Jekyll's me very mentally unstable. But also, side note, why would you take two diagnoses? One from his cool, like his normal side, and one from his fucked up, like, evil, edgy side. If I were the guy doing this, I would talk about it in one whole thing. I mean, sure, this might make for an easier time, but what if, you know, down the line, someone comes down and he's like, oh, these are two different people. Because clearly this guy doesn't have a mustache, and he does. So, I mean, I, look, you might be retarded if you can't tell that they're the same person, but, like, in a whole grand scheme of things, I would have just put it in one document. But I guess for necessarily, you know, doing this, fuck it, I guess. Doing it live. Okay, to the right of the garden is a ropeway tram platform. A wondrous view of the mountain valley spread out before me. Suddenly, I realized the real scope of the fantastical garden void never wanted the illusion to end unfortunately the tram doors are locked because it lacks power i found the electricity panel on the platform and it's missing a lever though i'm hopeful that it's in this fake forest somewhere while peering through the spyglass i noticed my old acquaintance gargantua was scaling the cable king kong style over the abyss now i'm sure that there is something he needs he wants something he wants me to see i just need to follow him cool I can only assume that I'll put fucking money on the next corpse we'll find is, uh, Miss, um, Thatcher. And she'll be in there. But, but that's just a, that's just a quantum theory. And it's not an actual theory. It's just speculation. But we'll go this way. The old bridge got a gaping hole right in the center. Luckily for me, I have planks. And now I can move forward. Is there anything else I can touch here? No? The forest operates on a bunch of pipes and shit. And there's a sewage pipe. A couple more valves and I might convince this hatch to open. Cool. It's going to be another fantastic puzzle. The thorny rosebush strangles the ladder, impeding my ascent. Well, luckily for me, I have this. And of course, I have to do a hidden object on a fucking ladder. Don't fall, bro. You might get hurt. All right, let's take a look at what we need here. We need pliers, a neckerchief, chief. I don't know what a fucking, I think it's like a handkerchief. I'm not sure. Gear one, gear two, gear three, gear four. Or that's a valve, excuse me, gear four. Not that I don't know what a neckerchief is, it's just, 
really odd. Uh, I need a lizard, I need a chain, I need three lanterns, uno, dos, and trace. What's, what's, uh, I just played through, um, the first haunted hotel, and, uh, like, the very first one, and, uh, what surprised me the most while doing, while playing it was I had to wait for the object to be found, and then I could click another one, so, like, I'm waiting for it to click, and I don't have to do this here, I could just bang out, like, ten of them, you know? Uh, all right, a neckerchief. Chief, chief. All right, hold on. Two seconds. I gotta fucking. I can't visualize what it fucking looks like. Uh, neck or chief. A square cloth. It's like a fucking ascot. It could have just said ascot, unless they're two different things. But it looks like a fucking ascot. Okay. That makes a lot more sense now that I think about it. If it's a neckerchief, it's for the neck. Um. And the group. A square cloth worn around the neck. Also, you could be easily choked with it. So I wouldn't. I wouldn't don one. You know, it's not the style that I'm looking for. But clearly, I can't find it. Because. <laughs> I'm still taking my sweet ass time looking for it. You know? I was just like, what the fuck? Oh, where is this neckerchief? Square cloth, come on. Give me something to work with here. I don't want to get stuck on here for too long. But I might. And of course I will. Is that it? No. Fuck. This is giving me... This is getting annoying. Neckerchief. Oh, I don't want to leave. No, wait. I'm not gonna hint. It's not gonna happen. Can I also say that these fucking weird-ass plant here, the one with all the crazy eyes on it, is definitely not normal and shouldn't be in this hidden fucking area. If I was a kid and I came here and I was like, wow, mystery fantasy, and I saw this fucking plant, I'd have nightmares for days. I'd get the fuck, I'd be like, I hope we're leaving, goodbye. Parents? Spend money on, nope. Going back to the car? I'll sit in the car. You guys can enjoy yourselves. I got manga to read. I got shit to do. I'm not wasting my time here. It's death. Death awaits. Oh, here it is. I'm a stupid bitch. Quit work. Found an item. Well, I know what I can do here. Uh, of course, I need one more. Anything else I can mess with up here? A couple more valves. Uh, and here's the other one. Go, we can get on with the puzzle. Alright, info, let's read that puzzle. Click the valves to rotate the hatch's rings. Each valve rotates two separate rings. Connect the three wires in the center to the red bulbs to unlock the hatch. So basically, get all these fucking things to match each other. Oh, this is one heck of a fucking puzzle, I can tell you right now. Fuck, I'm not good at these. Oh god, I can remember there's a puzzle like this in um um whatchamacallit. Uh in um In Castlevania, Lord of Shadows, which is a fucking great game, by the way, that I'm playing. I'm having a great time playing it. Um, and I just, I couldn't, I, you had to do it in a certain amount of moves, 
Even if you fucked it up, you were you were screwed. I just I couldn't. I couldn't. I definitely couldn't sit down and fucking do it in the setup. I actually I had to Google it because like I I had spent what like an hour on it. I felt it like ten times. I oh, know, right? The crazy guy like me failing crazy important puzzle. Alright, this one moves the bottom one. See, now I'm just moving it in fucking circles again. This is annoying. Um, let's get this to face this way. I'm gonna reset it. One, two, okay, definitely not using this one. Okay, that's there. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to be puzzles. Ah, oh, there we go, dinger. What could these puzzles completes to solve it? In the fairy glade, I found a heavy cast iron hatch. It leads to an underground room that houses equipment connected to the microclimate system. I just had to find the valves that connect the wires to open the hatch. Down we go. The generator powers the garden that pumps and delivers the chemical nutrients to the tree roots. Okay. The safe won't open until the power is restored. Alright, that's first things first. The generator isn't working. Put the gas in it. Looks like the- we're out of gas. Buffer? Oh god, here we go. Info. Fill the fuel tank up with four gallons of gas. The valves on the upper pipe open the gas flow to the tanks. Use the red buttons in the center to transfer gas to one tank to the other. The red handles at the bottom of the tanks dump his excess fuel. Buffer? Fuel tank? Okay, wait. Oh! Alright, this kind of makes sense. Okay, Rob, are we ready? One. This is two, three. Right? Alright, All right, it goes by three. Alright, I kind of understand it now. This gives two. Uh, let's put three. It's a number puzzle, is what I'm doing. But what kills me is that I need to get to four. Fill only four segments of the fuel tank. However, it's two and it's three. So I'm having a really difficult time here. Maybe if I fill up all five, right? Let's just fill this up. And I get rid of this, right? And I fill this here. Two, right? Dump this out. And then fill this up, right? And then go... Oh, I got it. Here we go. Watch. Ready? Two out of three. Up. Oh, four, baby. Dingo. Bingo. Dingo. Whatever. Zinger. I don't have a crazy cool catchphrase. But now we're, now we're good. Open the safe. Key to the car. Something for the, the journal. Hold on. I quickly got to write this down. This review is devoted to my... Apophical paper, Botany and Biology of My Artificial World. Unfortunately, the article cannot be considered scientific if Mr. Malley's Void is indeed the genuine author. It discredits the claim further as he has no relationship to science. The internal conference brought many surprises, but Mr. Void produced the greatest of all. In his speech, he declared the following points. Mr. Void created a new species of plant and animals. Mr. Void is creating artificial habitat for his pets. Mr. Void, incredible but true, has invented all of of this for his amusement park, which will open to the public, not the scientific community, in the very near future. As evidence in all this nonsense, Mr. Void has produced unconvincing photos, clearly shopped, and a flower pot, so he bred a hybrid, big whoop, no surprise that a new genius of botany and biology was mocked by the public and derided by scientists. Unfortunately for Mr. Void, the exhibited pot was broken, a conference organizer accidentally dropped the miracle 
The event apparently upset Mr. Void to the point that he suffered a violent outburst and withdrew from the podium. However, I believe he saw the writing on the wall and took the easy out. Once again, the community has unmasked another scientific char charlatan. Why do they hate me? Everything I said was true. I mean, look, you want to be honest with you here? That don't look like a fucking hybrid plant. I don't know what kind of crazy cracking people think you're on, but that looks like a new species of plant because some guy was playing God. But that's... And for whatever fucking reason, I guess... I happen to believe that if there's tropical birds living in this guy's microhabitat, that there's definitely new plant life and definitely new animals in this place. See, what these people have now done is created the um, motivation for three murders, and I bet you shit you not, and here's the quantum theory of today's major episode, which is something brand new that I'm thinking of right now, right? Put it together. This community mocked him so bad that I guess for whatever fucking reason, it just, it spiked Mr. Hyde, and now he can't... And Dr. Jekyll is now, it's kind of, it's like a weird situation where now the, the Dr. Jekyll part of him is now trapped inside his head or some stupid shit. I don't know, it, movie magic or whatever. But lo and behold, Mr. Hyde is now the main guy operating right now and is now fucked. Three people out of living. Because idiots and coats were like, how dare he make a new place? How dare he... And clearly, this is science. I don't know about you, but this is this is science and machinery. I can't give you any other option here. Um. Oh, oh guess I can't go back. Massive tree uprooted and smashed the bridge intentionally. Anyway, clearly, these people were jealous, and of, and of course, how dare he open it to the public and not the scientific community? Because maybe he wants to share his creations to the world. And then a bunch of goops in, in lab coats. But that's just me. So I can only assume this has started his, his down bringing. Alright, here we go. Uh, we need a ballerina. Map. Two frogs. Uno. And, oh, here's the car ornament to open the trunk of the car. Sneaker. Don't know what that is. Uh, a sneaker. I need a map. Map of what? Guess we'll find out. Uh, that's a shrimp. A maraca. Uh, um, police badge. Probably should take the police badge with us. Might be a little bit of legal to impersonate a police officer, but... But... I don't know what a police badge can do. Don't, uh... Don't, uh, knock, knock it until you try it. I'm not saying go out and do it. I don't endorse that. Don't do that. But, if you're walking in on a killer, or some crazy shit like we're doing now, you whip out a police badge, maybe he'll stop. Or maybe he'll get extremely angry and possibly try to kill you, but that's besides the point. You know, you, you just gotta, you just gotta flow with it, if that makes any sense. Alright, I need one more butterfly, I need a map, right? Okay, well there's the map, now I just need a single butterfly. And I think this is the butterfly, but it's just like a, like a brooch that kind of is shaped like a butterfly. And I think the hat thing behind here is a butterfly too, but it's not. Um... Oh god, here we go. <laughs> We're stuck again. Ain't a quantum episode without me getting stuck in a hidden object scene. But hey, you got my lovely voice to serenade you while you do whatever. Or you watch the first two seconds of it and then leave. And I'm preaching to no one yet. But hey, whatever. Those who make it this far are automatically part of the crew here. Leave that like, leave that subscribe button, and I can assure you more creative content coming your way. As I slug on this Mountain Dew game fuel. What the fuck is this? Here's my lever. Alright, there we go, I guess. 
All right. Well, we're here, and I can only assume that turning the lights on and shit will be a puzzle, and then we go here. Well, we'll save that for the next big episode of uh, Mystery Trackers the Void. Uh, until then, I'm your host, Quantum, and I'll check you all on the flip side.